Welcome to day four for the reading of chapter four in the book of Revelation. This is something that the Lord asked me to do. I haven't quite figured out exactly <laughs> what's going to come of it, but something is because that's just how he is. In Revelation 1, it says that uh, blessed are those who read the prophecies of this, uh, words of these prophecies out loud, and blessed are those that hear it. So it is my purpose just to follow what God said, is to read it out loud. And if you happen to come along and hear it, you can expect to be blessed at some point. We're going to figure out what it is that he's saying and doing. Nobody knows for sure 100% everything that God is doing. All we can do is be grateful that we've been grafted in as sons and daughters of the Most High God. We have been translated out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's beloved Son <laughs> through the blood of Jesus. We are inheritors of salvation. This word is alive. I, uh, on the very first day that God asked me to do this, I have to say that I couldn't have won a beauty contest against Raggedy Ann that day. <laughs> My dog had just had surgery. It, it was back up in 95 degrees outside. I had just taken her for a walk. And when I replayed the video I thought I am not redoing this because of the way that I look this is not about me it is about him so here we go <laughs> Raggedy Ann won that beauty contest by the way <laughs> okay father in the name of Jesus we invite you into this video even if we don't understand why you tell us to do the things you do we are to obey you ask me from the scriptures and in my heart to read the words, the prophecies from this book out loud so that I would be blessed and the people that heard it would be blessed. So that's what we're doing. We're following your instructions. We love you, Lord. Amen. Okay, Revelation chapter chapter four. If you haven't if you haven't listened to the other ones, listen. Because God promises people that hear it that they'll be, they will be blessed so that's what we're doing <laughs> okay revelation 4 the throne in heaven after this i looked and there before me was a door standing open in heaven and the voice i had first heard speaking to me like a trumpet said come up here and i will show you what must take place after this at once at once i was in the spirit and there before me was a throne in heaven with someone sitting on it and the one who sat there had the appearance of jasper and ruby, a rainbow that shone like an emerald encircled the throne. That rainbow belongs to the Lord. <laughs> Surrounding the throne were 24 other thrones and seated on them were 24 elders. They were dressed in white and had crowns of gold on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, rumbling, rumblings and peals of thunder. In front of the throne, seven lamps were blazing. Remember in the beginning, the lamp stands were the seven churches. I don't know if anybody else noticed, but from chapter two to chapter three, the lamp stands, the, uh, the word starts referring to them as the seven spirits of God. Now we're in four, and it's calling the, the seven lamps were blazing. A lot of we're we're going to have more understanding as as we go. This is a as we go. That's what God does. We walk by faith. Holy Spirit guides us into all truth. But I am going to study that out. Why they. Change, so I'm in the same version and they changed from the seven lamp stands to the seven spirits of God in chapter 3 now back to chapter 4 it's just lamps seven lamps were blazing these are the seven oh that's right here spirits of God also in front of the throne was what looked like a sea of glass clear as crystal in the center around the throne were four living creatures and they were covered with eyes in front and back 
The first living creature was like a lion. The second was like an ox. The third had a face like a man. And the fourth was like a flying eagle. Each of the four living creatures had six wings and was covered with eyes all around, even under its wings. Day and night, they never stopped saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory, honor, and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. <laughs> They lay their crowns before the throne and say, You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor, honor and power, for you created all things. And by your will, they were created and have their being. That's the end of chapter 4. Father, we just want to thank you for this time. We don't understand quite what it is that you're doing with this, but I know you, and you're always up to something good. <laughs> We just love you and we thank you for this time. I pray a blessing over everybody that is having a difficult time right now. Anybody that is uh, going, being attacked in their mind with the mind garbage, I break it by the power and the spirit of God. I release purifying fire from the altars of the third heaven. The same hot coals that touched the prophet's lip and purifies his speech. It's the same hot coals that can touch your mind and purify your mind. We just want to thank you, God, that you never change up on us. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever, and we love you. Amen and amen. See you tomorrow for day five, chapter five. <laughs> five is alive. Grace. <laughs>